few different topics. Uh, one, just the uh, LTC environment in general. Two, um, a focus on on money guard. Uh, really, just had to have that type of link and money guard conversation uh, with your clients, which which is all around wealth protection and LTC planning. Um, and then finally, we're going to take a look at an actual illustration as well. Um, we have a lot of marketing pieces, uh, Link and Money Guard, um, and, and we're looking to enhance that part of our uh, department this year. But I always say that our, our best marketing piece um, is the illustration, uh, mainly because we have all uh, guaranteed benefits. So we'll take a look at that uh, at the end. Um, but again, as, as Dave said, uh, my name is Lee Superville. I'm the uh, Money Guard Specialist for the uh, West Coast, uh, working at Lincoln Financial. Um, this is a good opportunity to talk about this uh, asset-based solution, or some individuals uh, might put it as uh, link benefit or hybrid market. It's all uh, synonymous. Uh, but this market itself uh, is a great topic around wealth protection uh, with clients, uh, mainly because of a lot of the changes that have been going on in the industry uh, as of late. Uh, so there are uh, four separate different type of solutions that are out there for um, for long-term care planning. Uh, one of the more prevalent ones is uh, traditional long-term care. Uh, we've noticed that in the uh, in the marketplace. Next is uh, LTC riders, uh, and we've also looked at uh, critical illness, chronic illness, uh, terminal illness as well. Uh, Money Guard fits underneath the umbrella of uh, the hybrid uh, market specifically. Now, we've been seeing a lot of uh, a lot more conversations coming from the hybrid market, more interest uh, with products in the uh, in the hybrid market. Um, a lot more individuals asking questions as well about Money Guard, uh, mainly because we're seeing a lot more uh, conversations around looking at guaranteed uh, solutions using uh, life insurance together with uh, long-term care to help battle those growing costs for long-term care. Long-term care costs are growing at a more alarming rate than was actually projected. And we're seeing a change in the industry as far as how services go. Uh, all that combined together with, with more competition and more awareness from the public as far as how threatening long-term care can be and how real that event is, uh, we are having more conversations around uh, around long-term care and, sp and specifically this hybrid market where Money Guard is. Um, one of the big statistics as out there, which is actually uh, growing uh, even more, is uh, the fact that every day more than 10,000 baby boomers are actually reaching the age of, of 65. With that uh, retirement population growing so quickly, individuals are seeing that the threat and the demand for long-term care is actually going up uh, quite a bit. So I'd like to show this slide briefly. We're following along here on the uh, on the webinar portion. Uh, so costs for for long-term care low under $100,000 in 2013. Uh, this amount and these costs are actually going up faster than inflation. Uh, so it's good for most individuals to know that the cost for long-term care is actually going at that sort of rate, closer to between six, seven, or even eight percent. Uh, on an annual basis. Uh, so with that in mind, it's also good to know that there are products out there to help plan for those rising costs in the future, uh, which includes which includes money guard. But it's good also not to only think of affording long-term care today, or if I can't afford long-term care today, but to be able to plan for those future costs because they're going to be quite higher than the numbers uh, that we see today. Um, three areas to look at for, for long-term care, uh, in-home care, uh, assisted living, and a nursing home. Usually when you say the word long-term care, most individuals are going to fixate on just a nursing home. Uh, that's just kind of our, our connotation. Uh, but so you know, uh, the Money Guard solution uh, does protect individuals not just in a nursing home, but also assisting uh, assisted living, uh, in-home care, home health care. Uh, home care, as well as alternative care services uh, as well. That's really the full spectrum. And we're actually seeing more of a demand for in-home care, even though some people might think about long-term care just being a nursing home, but there's more demand um, 
more of an increase uh, in demand for in-home care, uh, mainly because individuals, if they're going to stay at home, uh, they would like to do that if long-term care is going to be a need in the future. Actually, 7 out of 10 individuals that do go on claim, for LTC that is, do go on claim at home. We also found out that over 50% of those individuals uh, also get better within a year. Um, so something else you'll find out with Money Guard, and we'll talk more about this in just a, just a bit, but there's also the ability to turn those benefits off and on. So if you need long-term care, you can turn it on. If you happen to get better in that situation, maybe you break your hip from like a car accident, only need care for about six months, and you get better, you can turn off the benefits and save that money for a later date. So there's a lot of different benefits and as far as like how Money Guard does work that helps individuals in this day and age as far as how uh, long-term care services are changing and obviously the uh, increase in long-term care costs. Uh, as well. So uh, if we look at how to really start talking about uh, Money Guard, this is usually like the two big steps that would happen. Uh, first, you might bring up a, a topic that a client's a little bit more familiar with, like traditional uh, long-term care. Um, what we've seen with a lot of changes in traditional long-term care, this is still a good area for LTC protection because this is a uh, long-term care focused type of product. Uh, we've been seeing a little bit more so increases to stringency, uh, or sorry, excuse me, um, increase in stringency to um, to underwriting with traditional long-term care. Uh, one of the big objections uh, here as well is that it is user or lose it. Um, we also seen that there have been rate increases or elimination periods on traditional uh, long-term care, usually about 90 days. And it does start off as more of an inexpensive uh, approach. Uh, but if you are paying in this for 25, 30, 40 years, uh, premiums every year or, or every month, it does become expensive. So usually what individuals will say is I kind of get the idea of traditional long-term care, paying, paying premium after premium. If, if I need uh, the policy for long-term care, then I can use it. If I don't, need that traditional long-term care policy, then I lose all those premiums. And I know it can be expensive after a while, so why don't I just self-insure? So a lot of individuals uh, nowadays are self-insuring, or in other words, just kind of keeping money on the sideline, uh, or perhaps in a bank, a CD, money market, things of that nature. Unfortunately, those type of accounts is low interest bearing, so they're not earning really anything there. But what they like is that at least they have control of their money. They know where it is. They have the flexibility to use it how they want to. And there, there are options there. They can leave it in the bank. They can take it out. And they can use it for an LTC event or some other emergency that were to happen. So really the idea, as far as how money goes concerned, this is the second step, is positioning really what it does. And if it's really just a, a more dynamic way to self-insure, that's what money goes really will be able to do for the client. So usually what I would say is, well, if you like the advantages with self-insuring, like having control of your money, flexibility, have, have options, well, you like money, God, because we can actually help you continue to self-insure, but just on better terms. And then next thing they'll say is, well, what are those better terms? And they're listed for you right here on, on the slide. So money, God, will be able to provide uh, reimbursements for qualified long-term care which is all tax-free. That's, that's the big bucket that they're getting. It also offers benefits even if the client doesn't even need long-term care because there's a death benefit as well. So the death benefit or the life insurance is a second bucket. Now the premiums are never going to increase either. So some of the news they've been hearing about with traditional long-term care, they don't have to worry about that with Money Guard because you can pay into this just one time or you can pay into it over the course of 10 years or anywhere in between, but those premium payments are not going to change. Same thing with the benefits. So the benefits aren't going to change either as far as how they're projected on the illustration. And we'll take a look at an illustration just a bit here. And then last but not least, there's no elimination period. So normally what 
clients might be used to or, or what you might also see in the industry is that there are 30, uh, perhaps 90, even 180 days of elimination period. So clients do have to pay out of pocket for several months before actually even using the policy. Uh, with MoneyGuard, there's no elimination period whatsoever. Uh, it's a great topic to talk about because you won't see it necessarily in bold in the illustration, but it's something that we're very proud of because they have a guaranteed solution, and once they need it, there's no waiting as far as getting those reimbursements uh, for long-term care. Just making that transition and such a crucial uh, life event obviously a little bit easier. So uh, the next question is, all right, so what is, how does uh, MoneyGuard 2 look? Um, Lincoln MoneyGuard's uh, current solution that we have right now that's um, being approved uh, almost in 49 of the uh, 50 states is called uh, MoneyGuard 2. Uh, recently was, MoneyGuard 2 that is recently approved in uh, Hawaii being approved next month in uh, Florida and then the following month in uh, California. Uh, the only uh, state that won't have uh, MoneyGuard 2 uh, after the end of this quarter will be uh, New York. But uh, all the uh, statistics and all the pages that we're going to look at here uh, for the remainder of the call are going to be on on uh, MoneyGuard 2. So if you're, if you're a visual person like I am, you're going to like this slide because uh, whenever I think about MoneyGuard 2, this is exactly what I picture, three, three buckets. Um, so essentially what MoneyGuard is, or at least this is how you can say it, is going to be three buckets. You get one bucket for income tax-free reimbursements for qualified long-term care expenses. That's the focus of the solution, that first bucket. If you don't need those benefits, well, you have the second bucket, which is the uh, life insurance, tax-free like any other life insurance. And then the third bucket is their ability to actually get their money back. It's the, the, it's the return of premium rider. So with MoneyGo2, there's actually two options that the client can choose from as far as what type of money guard policy they want in terms of the return of premium. So let's look at both these options real quick. Uh, so we have the option one, uh, which is kind of the 80% rule or also called like the basic ROP option. Essentially it says uh, once you put in all your premium, you can get back 80% at any time. It's a lifetime guarantee. So you put in $100,000, you get back $80,000, day one or year 100. doesn't matter. It's a lifetime guarantee, so it's pretty simple. The second option says, okay, well, you can choose this vested option that says, let's, let's say you put in $100,000. Tomorrow you only get back 80%. Next year you get back 84%, and so on and so on, until after year five. And you can back, get back 100% of your money. So between the two options, option one will actually give you more long-term care leverage. Option two will just give you more liquidity. Uh, but between the two, I, I do get the question, you know, which one should a client go with? Uh, most advisors will actually show uh, both options uh, to a client so they can actually see the increase in long-term care from option one. And we'll look at a specific example after this. So they can actually choose between the two. However, uh, close to 80%, uh, 82% now of individuals actually choose uh, the first option, which is the basic RP option, mainly because individuals are looking for more long-term care leverage, which makes sense because since MoneyGuard has been around since uh, 1988, less than 2% of people have actually been called Lincoln and said, all right, can I have my money back? Can I do a a full surrender? Can I utilize the return of premium? The past two years, less than 0.5 percent of individuals have done it. So a lot of individuals don't exercise the return of premium, but it is there for them. It's a safety net. I let them know that even though the policy is guaranteed, there is liquidity there, something that a feature that they won't see in traditional long-term care. So it's a good topic of conversation. But really the focus, again, is, is the long-term care benefit and what type of services cover underneath those 
long term care benefit, which includes, you know, not just a nursing home, but assisted living facility, as well as um, in home care, which more people have, have questions about. So we are able to cover that. Okay, so before going into uh, quick, uh, quick examples, I do want to talk about the underwriting uh, for MoneyGuard. Uh, to able to qualify for MoneyGuard, um, it's like any other long-term care, so it's going to be needing assistance with uh, two out of the six ADLs um, or some sort of severe cognitive impairment. And then you'll be eligible for, for the MoneyGuard. Um, again, no elimination period, so you're eligible to start getting reimbursements. Uh, right away. Uh, our underwriting is is very simplified. Uh, the idea there is that we don't accept any medical records uh, or a, uh, APSs, uh, doctor's notes, no blood and urine for, for our you know, streamlined underwriting process is how we call it. I like to say that uh, we take the pain out of underwriting. All we ask the client to do is a phone call with a registered nurse, about a 45 minute long uh, phone call uh, we also do a prescription drug check behind the scenes. We don't need the assistance of the, uh, the client to do that. But once the uh, phone call is done, uh, that's all the information that our underwriters need. We bring the information back in-house um, because a third-party underwriting company called uh, LTCG does the phone call for us. We bring the uh, information back in-house, and we give you a decision in less than five business days. So it's a very quick uh, turnaround, very quick process but also a painless process, too, uh, for the client. Um, we don't have any ratings of money guards, so it's just pass or fail. And just to make sure that we do have the optimal appro approval rating, right now it's a little over uh, 86%, but just so we can get that number even higher, we do ask uh, the advising client to do two things to get ready for the phone call. The first is we have free underwriting forms. Uh, that essentially will show you like all the knockouts for for money guard. Um, uh, certain conditions like uh, needing oxygen, uh, congestive heart failure, uh, type one diabetes would be a knockout. However, type two diabetes would be con something that we can consider. So they have some of those con conditions listed there. And then the next step is we'll go through um, a PHI worksheet, is what we call a personal history interview worksheet. It's about three pages long, and the client fills this out. It's going to have a list of medications, medical history. Basically all the questions the nurse is going to ask them is going to be written down on the page. So we'll, we'll have that have that ready and completed. It'll make the call more accurate, make the call quicker. Uh, and it'll also just, uh, it won't put the client in a position where they might be fumbling around in their med medicine cabinet or looking around their wallet as well. And it does increase uh, the approval rating as well. So. Um, that's our streamlined underwriting process. Um, well, if you're going to begin a, uh, a money guard uh, process, it's good to have uh, those forms or at least know how to uh, look at that process because it's good to set expectations with the, uh, with the client. So. All right, so for next, we're going to take a look at a few different options for money guard. Um, our individual that we have in front of us here, a uh, six-year-old female, is going to be what all these little lists, the next three slides, are going to be based off of. So she qualifies for a couple of discounts. Uh, MoneyGuard 2 does have a couple of discounts on there as long as it's defined by that state that they're in a relationship, so it could be domestic partnership, uh, civil union, what have you then they can apply for that couple discount, which can be uh, as little as 3% increase to the long-term care or as big as a 10% increase to the long-term care benefit. So it is significant. It's worth asking the question. Also, what you'll see on MoneyGuard 2 is that there's no smoker status. So what that really means is that smokers, individuals that had a cigarette in the past 12 months, smokers will actually get the same rates as non-smokers. So, so in this example, Nancy uh, doesn't want to deplete all of her savings because long-term care is going to be the biggest threat as far as unexpected expenses in retirement. So we're putting together a $100,000 Lincoln Money Guard policy. So in this case, we're going to talk to Nancy and say, well, you can put in $100,000 today 
you can pay over the course of four years. This is what this example is. You can pay over the course of ten years, you know, or, or any, anywhere in between. So she does have a few different premium payment options if she wants to pay over two years or eight years. It's really up to her, but we're going to look at three examples and how those different payment strategies affect her long-term care benefit uh, and death benefit. So for this one, paying over the course of four years, so she's putting in $25,000 a year. Um, the main advantage for paying over time, and this is also why about 50% of our submits for Lincoln Money Guard is flex pay. And flex pay is paying over time, not doing a, a one-time payment. Because once the first payment goes in, even though it's only 25 grand, all of her benefits are guaranteed. So she gets the full long-term care benefit, full death benefit, if anything were to happen. So in other words, she puts in 25000 today. She gets a long-term care bucket of 494 139, a death benefit for 164, 713, if she chooses option one and says, all right, I'll go with that 80% rule. If anything were to happen, let's say um, year two comes around and she does need some sort of long-term care assistance, we're going to give her the, the monthly maximum that she's allowed, in this case, uh, 6863, so a little under $7,000 a month. But we also do want her to make the other three payments, so there's no waiver or premium. If another scenario comes up, let's say year two happens, and then you know, she passes away, she gets a full death benefit, 164, 713, and option one, and then their policy cancels. We don't need her to make the other three payments, of course. So that's how Money Guard would look while they're paying into it. Obviously, once they have completed uh, all four payments, in this case, and they'll be eligible for the return of premium. But this slide does a good job of showing you kind of the difference between the two return of premium options. Option one is that 8% rule, the basic option. See how much more the long-term care is, even the death benefits higher than option two. But if a client is more concerned about liquidity and getting back all their money after five years, option two is the way to go. Between the two, again, I've seen more, more clients interested in option one and getting the most long-term care leverage they can get. Uh, this next example is looking at, I'm going to go through again for Nancy. She's actually paying over 10 years. You can see the difference a little bit in the long-term care and death benefit. If she chooses option one, which most clients do, she'll get uh, 447, 531 in a long-term care bucket, uh, 149, 177, excuse me, in a, in a death benefit. After all 10 payments are made, then she's eligible to get back $80,000 if she wants to. So, those, so that's actually how the three buckets work. Uh, we do see a lot of uh, the 10 pay because a lot in the industry, there's not too many other competitors that still offer a 10 pay. And this 10 pay is guaranteed because the benefits aren't going to change, the, the premium payments are never going to change. Nancy has the ability to actually pay this up faster than 10 years if she wants that option. And because she's paying over a longer period of time, individuals are actually talking about other avenue streams to fund money guard and not just uh, money that's in the bank or in low interest bank accounts. So in other words, uh, advisors are actually having success with talking about an annuity funding money guard, uh, an RMD uh, funding money guard. So someone over uh, 70 and a half looking at uh, maybe even a 1035 situation. Uh, Money Guard is life insurance, so looking at doing a policy review or your CPA and audit and doing an exchange, 1035 exchange from a life insurance policy that they don't need or, or, or isn't a good part of their portfolio, doing a 1035 in the Money Guard one time, or they can still add on payments afterwards to get to that long-term care number that they need. And also talking about residual income, too. So what I mean by residual income is uh, younger individuals, under 55, for example, um, if they actually have uh, getting an income but it's not being used for expenses, for example, uh, paying kids tuition, uh, paying car, home, things of that nature, maximum, maxing out the 401k, 
using that money to put into MoneyGuard over the course of 10 years or maybe seven or eight years. Uh, for example, we did MoneyGuard recently where we used a, a corporate bonus uh, that individuals are getting to pay for MoneyGuard. Even we did one where they're using their tax return uh, to pay for uh, pay for MoneyGuard. So looking at the 10 pay and the flex pay, this open up the market a little bit more for who you can talk to uh, uh, about long-term care protection. Hey, Lee, and last but not least, this is, Lee, this is Dave. We had a couple of questions come up here, um, okay. if you don't mind. Um, oh sure. When you do it, when you actually request a proposal from you folks and you get it, um, it, it does it show both option one and option two for the ROP? On one quote, or do you have to run two quotes to show the di to to get the two different options? Oh, good question. Um, you'd have to run uh, two different quotes. Okay. <clears throat> the next one, which I thought was really good, is: Have you actually built a consumer PowerPoint presentation that an agent can use when he's he or she is meeting with a client, like a PowerPoint? Oh, that, that's a good question. Um, we actually we just finished a client PowerPoint, which um, uh, Dave, I could send to you after this, and then we also are gonna. We're getting ready for a client video. Oh, it's awesome. a video walking you through. Yeah, it's fantastic. So there's there's a couple different things out there that are client approved. So I'll make sure to <coughs> get that over to you. Okay, great. Uh, for those of you who would be interested in in the uh, PowerPoint, and maybe a little bit later on in the video, uh, pop me an email after the webinar. Uh, Dave dot Whelan, spelled W H E L A N, at W H Y A I M dot com and I'll reply back uh, with that PowerPoint. Thanks for bringing that up there, Lee. Thanks for the questions, by the way. Oh, yeah, great questions. Yeah, thank you. And yeah, feel free to uh, interrupt if any other um, any other questions pop up. All right, so for the last example, uh, we're looking at a one pay. This is more of a classic money guard. Uh, this is where uh, the advisor might ask, well, if you had an LTC emergency tomorrow, or if you had any emergency tomorrow, like what asset would you liquidate first? So they might say, okay, if I had to liquidate an asset, I might look at my more liquid or, excuse me, low interest bearing accounts where taxes is an issue, so a CD, money, uh, money market, thing of that, things of that nature. And repositioning a portion of that in the money guard just one time will be able to get you uh, these benefits here. And again, this is for a six-year-old female. So uh, 519, 921 for long-term care, uh, 173, 307 for a death benefit. And uh, right away, they can get back 80% uh, of that premium, eight or eighty thousand dollars. So they choose option one. Again, most clients do go with that. Do go with that first option there. Okay. Yeah. Somebody actually brought up a question on that um, related topic here. Can you give a better explanation as far as what the total column is? And I, I believe that's the total long-term care benefit available out of this policy, the 519. 921 is just done by multiplying 86,000 times six, I would assume? Yep, yep that's, that's exactly it. So if uh, Nancy needed long-term care, she won't get a check from Lincoln for 519-921, but she can choose eligible to get that monthly. Yep, yep, you yep. got it. Okay, and then uh, with the automatic death benefit of 173. Hopefully that answered the question that was posed out there. Okay, <clears throat> all right. Perfect. All right, so let's uh, switch gears a little bit here. So we only have uh, like a few more minutes with you, and I do want to make sure to go over an illustration. Um, uh, Dave, can you see the illustration on the uh, screen here now? Yes, I can. Thank you. Again. Okay. All right, so we're gonna uh, jump through. I just want to show you a few pages on the illustration. Um, some frequently asked questions. Uh, what area is the target? Uh, when you ask for your next illustration, at least you'll be uh, a little bit more up to speed on uh, some areas that you want to focus on or ask questions about. So uh, when you do propose or you do ask for an illustration, uh, the things that we do ask for is the, the client's uh, first and last name, if you do want to give it, uh, the age, gender, if they're married or not, um, and especially uh, what state they're in uh, as well. So we need all that information to help uh, put together that uh, illustration for you. If you do want your uh, information on there as well, you can put all the uh, agent information as well on the on the first page. But the uh, illustration for MoneyGuard is, is very well designed. It's very um, uh, easy to follow. 
uh, the first uh, page with uh, information that the client needs to know is going to be this page here, which is actually page uh, page three. That goes over the benefits that we cover for long-term care at the top, adult daycare, nursing home, et cetera, which is good for the client to look at because you want them to ask questions around that. Like, what does this cover? What can this do uh, for me? And when they actually look at that area, it's good to also know that MoneyGuard has a concierge care coordination. A concierge care coordination is as crucial for any long-term care policy, even if you don't get MoneyGuard. Um, our care coordination will help uh, if they have two different type of long-term care policies, we help uh, both those pay for their solution. You can do a need assessment to make sure you're getting the right service to help you interview nursing homes. Essentially, it will get the most out of your long-term care policy. And, uh, and MoneyGuard does have care coordination. It's a free service as well. So uh, keep that in mind when at least talking about some of the expenses that MoneyGuard will be able to cover uh, as well. And that, that's something you can do during the, uh, during the illustration. Uh, now, this... Uh, illustration we have here is uh, for a male, uh, 55. We're looking at putting in uh, actually a single premium of $50,000. So I want to show you what some of those numbers look like. Right off the bat, they do have an initial monthly benefit of uh, 39.16, uh, minimum duration of six years. So in other words, uh, this individual is going to use the policy for a minimum of six years. If they don't use the monthly benefit every month, every month, uh, it's going to last longer. Uh, than six years. As you can see, there's no deductible period. Uh, death benefit is almost 94000 And there's a residual death benefit of 4699 So let me tell you what this is all about. Um, when you use MoneyGuard, we actually drop down the death benefit dollar for dollar for every long-term care dollar that they spend. So they can actually use up all of their death benefit. They can use up all of their long-term care bucket but they're actually guaranteed to pass on this residual death benefit. This is always part of their benefit at the end of the day. This is uh, 4699 4, All right, so I'm going to jump ahead a little bit here and uh, show you the ledger page. Uh, this ledger page is uh, probably where you get most of the questions from. Um, if you have an individual under 65, um, I would say look at putting on inflation protection. Um, this individual is 55, so we did put on uh, inflation protection here to help their money grow. Um, what you'll see is that there's a few columns here, um, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if we see that we put in $50,000 today, uh, we can look at their surrender value, uh, the death benefit, and also the IIR of their long-term care uh, as well. So when I go through this page, uh, one thing that you'll actually notice is uh, death, the death benefit starts out a little higher um, and then goes down to that minimum minimum amount. Um, essentially, we just have to keep our uh, standard as life insurance policy, so we do have to uh, stay at the minimum long-term care benefit for a client. So we do have to give them a little bit more long-term care, or excuse me, a little bit more death benefit, but it will never get lower and that number that you actually see on the first page. But if we look at the long-term care benefit, we can see all, this, all these numbers are guaranteed as far as how that works. Um, in this case, oh no, excuse me, I'm sorry, we actually didn't put on uh, inflation protection for this one. But you can actually see how the long-term care benefit, the total benefit, and the monthly benefit don't change. So those are all guaranteed. But if you were to use the IR column, which I would recommend, it's a great way of comparing uh, different types of strategies that the client might have. So, for example, if you're repositioning uh, maybe a, a CD that's $50,000 in the money guard, the client's going to say, okay, that's something I'm comfortable with, but, you know, what's the return I'm getting from money guard? Well, this IR column is going to do it for you. So you can actually say, all right, you know, Mr. Client, let's look 10 years into the future here. Now you're uh, 65. The RR that you're getting from the long-term care is going to be 15.1%. And they'll say, okay, what does that mean? Well, we're going to have to find an alternative investment. In other words, we're going to have to find a CD that's going to earn 15.1% per annum for the next 10 years. And all of a sudden they'll say, all right, well, that's going to be very hard to do. So maybe this is a good investment. I understand what I'm getting from MoneyGuard. 
for the uh, death benefit at 6.5%. So you're still looking at a good return from this type of uh, policy. And a good good thing that it's all guaranteed. These numbers are, are not going to change whatsoever. A couple more questions came up, Lee. Uh, what's the maximum issue age or application age you'll accept on this product? Oh, yeah. The uh, maximum is uh, 79 years old, and the minimum <clears throat> minimum is uh, 40 uh, years Okay. Old. Now, but when you get at the upper end, though, you have some limitations as far as the 10 pay, correct? Correct, correct. So you won't be able to do the 10 pay uh, on most individuals that are um, over 76. Okay. So uh, up to 75, they can do up to the 10 pay. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'm going to just uh, start throwing it open for questions, if you don't mind. Just oh, yep, yeah, I'm actually right at the end, so that's perfect. Okay, great. Um, I am opening up the lines, people, so if you have me on a speakerphone, if you please take me off, especially if it's, if it's a smartphone. So if I didn't, like, for example, in Washington State, Washington is running their money with the Reserve 2, Reserve Plus product, the Money Guard 2, so they're, they're on the new product. Um, if anybody else has any questions, I tried to address most of the questions that were typed in along the way. <laughs> Again, if you have me on a speakerphone, if you can please take me off that speakerphone, I, the rest of the people would really appreciate that. So a, any questions out there from anybody, anybody on the call today that we didn't address? I've got one. Fire away. Tom, uh, in California. Now, you said California is going to be picking up the two product here, what, in a couple of months? Lee, did you hear that? Uh, yes. Um, yes, I think uh, I might have not heard the last part there, but, yeah, they are picking it up. Um, uh, the exact date is going to be coming out soon, so be, um, in, in March. Okay, if in case you didn't hear it, because somebody has me on a speakerphone, which always happens, um, the California product should be out in March. Um, Money Guard 2, that's exciting news. Yep, so that, yeah, that's actually coming. Yep. And do you, not, very do often, you ever, not, very, not very often we have a chance to roll out a new product in California. Yeah. I was going to ask a follow-up to that on the Reserve Plus that we have in California right now. Do you ever see them yep. making uh, the 90-day elimination completely gone from that product, go back and grandfather to existing policies? Oh, uh, actually, no. They, they probably they probably won't do that. Um, but I do know the product you have in California, Money Guard Reserve Plus. There's still a, a small advantage to uh, look at there because you'll actually see that if a client does a three pay, um, there's actually more. They'll actually get more long term coverage than a one pay. Um, so right now, with uh, California having Money Guard Reserve Plus, that might be something to look at. Okay. Thank you. I do have one question. Okay. You had to put in a PIN number. Why didn't you just open up the one speakers instead of opening up everybody so we don't have to hear that person sneezing in the background? Thank you. I, I can't, select, I can't uh, tell exactly which person is causing all that noise. I apologize for that. Well, no, I understand that. But if you block everybody and just open up the one person that wants to speak, that's all the problem. You're doing well. All right, if anybody has a question now, would you please raise your hand, and I will unmute you, unmute you individually. Lynn, did you still have a question? Yes, I wanted to know what, it, um, what a quote, an illustration looks like with inflation protection on the long-term care. It would show those numbers increasing as you went down on that one page that uh, Lee was showing. So it would show the pool of money growing. It would show the monthly benefit growing at either 3 or 5%, whichever one you selected. What does the premium look like? It's still, it's the, it's, you're not paying in forever. You're making one payment. When you do put inflation on it, it's going to reduce the monthly benefit initially. Okay, is that what you're flipping to now? Yeah, Lee's going through it. Do you have Do you happen to have one, Lee, that has an inflation on it? Uh, Sorry, Lee, I, I muted you. Oh, no, that's quite all right. Yeah, I believe uh, I should have one here. Hold on one second. 
All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at this one. This is a little bit more, but this one we ran again the other other week. Okay. Okay, can we see this one with the 52-year-old uh, male? Yep. With the seven-year right, duration. So this, okay. So go right to that page. Yeah. It shows shows the. This one has a five percent compound on it. So. All right, Lynn. So there you see on the over here, on the right-hand side, you can see how the the pool of money is growing. The monthly benefit grows, and the and the the the, uh, the annual benefit grows. Going down the page. For an initial premium of 202, 433, or 432. So the premium is the premium's done when you write that big check. But then the policy is growing at five percent compound over time, as you can see going down the right hand side mm -hmm. of this illustration. Did that help you? Okay, thank you. You're more than welcome. All right. Um, I'm gonna take back control for just a second here, Lee. Okay. I'm gonna throw a little word a little document up here on the screen. All right, that's my email address, dave.whalen at yam.com, my phone number, 800-672-7202. Pop me a note if you'd like to get a copy of that consumer PowerPoint presentation, and then uh, we'll notify everybody when we get that video that they're working on as well. Uh, I do want to thank everybody for taking the time to join us today. Hope you learned a little bit more about this option for a solution for long-term care for our clients, an asset-based financing for long-term care. We appreciate your time. Um, have a great day and enjoy your weekend. We'll catch up to you later. Thanks, Lee. I do appreciate you doing this for me. Yeah, thank you for the invite and thank you for, uh, for everyone else. Have a good day.